Hey, Gail. I'm checking out this grind. <laughs> okay. Are you snorting it? <laughs> I knew you'd say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd probably gag and choke and pass out right here. I know. Coffee overdose. Party foul. Hey, Gail. So we have had um, some run-ins where people have either used too fine of pre-ground in their bypass doser on their super automatic. Or too much. Or too much. <laughs> we had somebody... <laughs> And the result has been what? It breaks things. <laughs> it, it, uh, it breaks gears inside there because you have so much coffee and it's too fine. Yeah. And you're asking it to do something that the machine is not capable of doing. And, uh, yeah, and so what happens is, like, as it goes in, especially if you're doing too much, oh my it gosh. just builds up to that little coffee cement we know on the brew group, and then it just breaks it. We... <laughs> somebody with a Seiko. It's supposed to be one tablespoon. Okay. They didn't read the directions, and they the shoot is about this long. Mm -hmm. It's about this big round. They filled it up. Oh my gosh. Right to the top. <laughs> I wondered why it didn't work. <laughs> and then they I were mean, breaking I, the gears. And, I, I yeah. mean, I can laugh. I mean, it's not. I mean, hey, if you don't read the directions, you don't know. Yeah, exactly. You know? So right. on the on the um, on the Jura. Yes. It's a little trap door here. You open it up. Put the funnel in there, and you can actually do two scoops on the Jura, uh, Jura and on the Seikos and the Gages and those. It's, it's one. So you can do up to two tablespoons. Um, and then on this machine, uh, you, would you, if you were brewing with the two scoops, do you then move that uh, dial to two cups? No, you don't oh. have to. If you like it enough strong, just leave it the just way it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. So take that out. And it knows that you know, I put powder in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it just gonna brew with it, or or you could change it, it now? It's gonna ch it's going to. You would just have to press it. Could you change it, it to two cups and then? I could. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I could change it. I could alter the cups and the volume. Like okay. right here, I could ch I could change the volume if I want. I'm not going to because I want the two ounces. But okay. See? That's not, this is not the freshest in the world. No, it's not. <laughs> it's been, um, it's but, almost empty. But we talked with the techs, and they were saying that this is a good example of the coarseness that you want. This is the Lavazza, in case somebody has it. The, yeah. It's, yeah. It's kind of like. He was saying nothing finer than granulated sugar. This is a little bit finer than granulated sugar. I would but. say it is. It's a little fine, but it's not like uh, typical espresso. No. Mm -mm. It's not nearly as fine. Okay. So two things. A, make sure you don't go too fine. Right. And B, make sure you don't do too much. Don't do too much. Two those scoops. are really those are really words for life, aren't they? That's just that's that's a lesson for everybody. Too fine is bad. No. And too much is bad. I want plenty of it and I want it to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're so fine, girl. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Gail. Catch you later.